What's going on, Jerome's? We are in the thick, T-H-I-C-C, thick of NFL mock draft season. And Todd McShay, Todd, 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 uh, has been a mainstay of ESPN for years, decades at, at this point. And he's got his pulse, uh, finger on the pulse of college football, and he's getting into it with mock drafts. That's right. So he released his latest uh, rounds one and two mock draft. Of course, Vikings don't have to worry about round two, uh, but the Vikings at 23 in the first round. They got some nice, nice. Uh, they got some nice, nice. Now, uh, this is uh, an insider, so I'm not going to give away full details, but a certain quarterback falls to 14, and then the Bucks go get him. I think that if he would have fell that far, maybe the Vikings make a move. I don't know, but they stick and pick. At 23, Hendon Hooker, the pride of Tennessee, even though he's 75,000 years old, yes. And, uh, by the way, this is the second or third? This might be the third, uh, yeah, this might be the third major draft analyst that has put his uh, thing on the table. Daniel Jeremiah, uh, The Athletic, as well as now uh, Todd McShay, uh, having Hendon Hooker go in the first round and to the Vikings specifically at 23. And, yes, Mike Tambaum had Hooker going at five to Seattle, which, I don't believe, but I, I do think that he ultimately does go in the first round because of the quarterback tax. But this is what Todd wrote. The Vikings have quietly been putting in some work on this quarterback class. Not even quietly. They're just really overt about it. Uh, despite the team's 13-win season, Kirk Cousins was just 23rd in QBR at 49.9. Plus, he's turning th- 35 this summer. He'll be entering the final year of his deal. Sitting behind Cousins for a year and to learn the pro game and fully recover from his torn ACL could be the perfect setup for Hooker who led the nation in QBR last season before the injury, 89.5. I like how Todd's really pushing uh, ESPN's uh, QBR stat, proprietary stat. Just like, "Mm -hmm." Hooker is accurate uh, to every level of the field, but really strives throwing deep. Some scouts might be wary of drafting a 25-year-old quarterback, but he has the talent to lead an NFL offense. I've talked to folks with a few teams that even have Hooker above Levis on their internal boards. Uh, He has interviewed really well this spring, and the tape is phenomenal. Alternate... Alternatively, Minnesota could uh, try to get another receiver alongside Justin Frigate Jefferson, uh, go back to the cornerback well, or bring in another big tight end, which <clears throat> I don't know about the tight end part because you got TJ Hawkinson, who's one of the best tight ends in the game. He's top three, and he's not three. And Josh Oliver is underrated as a receiver and is the best blocking tight end in the game. I mean, you're going to add Dalton Kincaid to that? Nah, nah, nah. So I, I think Todd misses there, but... <sighs> I'm really loving some Hendon Hooker. I, I really do. Like, the more I watch him at Tennessee, uh, the more I watch at even some of his really good Virginia Tech tape where he was teammates with Christian Derrissaw, by the way. I, I think that the upside is there. Even though, yes, he is 25. Yes, he is coming off the ACL. Yes, this, that, or that other thing. Yes, he is coming off of, uh, or yes, he was in the gimmicky Tennessee offense. You know who else pay, plays in a gimmicky college offense? Caleb Williams at USC. But no one ever talks about that. Uh, so I, I think with Hendon Hooker, even though, he is going to be 26 uh, by the time he takes over the Vikings offense uh, in uh, 2024. He plays quarterback. Like, he doesn't play running back. He doesn't play cornerback. Uh, so, if you can get a decade plus out of Hendon Hooker, I mean, th- that's a damn good investment. And I-, I think given his intangibles, given his leadership, uh, given his um, g- given his uh, study of film, given his everything else off the field, I think that he would be revved up, ready to go to be that leader of the team in 2024. And uh, like you know, McShay said, like Hooker does have one of the more accurate deep balls in this class, and that's exactly what you need uh, with Justin Jefferson. That's exactly what you need uh, with this offense that wants to attack downfield. So I, I, li- I-, I do like Hendon Hooker. And I, I do buy some of the steam that he is going to be a first-round pick. And if the Vikings can't trade up, if they can't go up and get Levis or Richardson, I'd be okay. I, I would be perfectly okay t- taking Hendon Hooker at 23, even though, yes, age, even though, yes, ACL, even though, yes, offense. I, do, I don't care. I don't care. I think he's going to be a, a damn good professional quarterback. I think that he's going to be damn good for a decade plus, and then we'll go from there. But your thoughts are thoughts. ESPN's Todd McShay, Todd, 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 uh, mocks Hendon Hooker to the Vikings at 23 uh, in his latest mock draft. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once you put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.